Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So per a lot of requests, I today I'm going to do a how to use the BMW Steptronic transmission while driving. My previous one was just sitting still and kind of going through the gears, but today I'm going to actually show you how to operate the transmission while driving. So we're going to start it up. Boom, there we go. I've got it all started up. Let's get our seat belt on here. Just like that. So here we've got, uh, as previously in the video, we've got park, so that's engaging the park. And then we've got our uh, handbrake here. So to uh, put in the drive, what we're gonna do is put our foot on the brake and we're gonna hit the unlock button. So right here on the unlock and pull it back two. So if we're in park, we're in park. If I just pull it back one, that also goes into uh, drive. So you can pull it all the way back or just do one click. It does the same thing. So we're going to get on the road. Now that we're in motion here, we're in drive and we're in the standard uh, automatic function, which is comfort. So right here you have your uh, drive mode selector. So you click down, that goes into Eco Pro. That's your most economic. You're going to save a lot of gas. We're on a BMW, so we're going to go up and we're going to click into sport mode. Now a lot of you guys, this question was uh, operating sport mode and the transmission and stuff like that. In sport mode, right here with your button down here, you are still in automatic. It's still in drive. Uh, it will change gears automatically. You don't have to do anything. Now, let's say I want to go even sportier. I move that over. So you can see here, it's in drive, normal drive right there. I move it to the left, I'm now in sport transmission, but it's still automatic. It just makes the shifts more aggressive. It downshifts quicker, it holds the gears out longer, and it just has a more overall sporty feeling. So there, and like I said, it's still automatic. And if you wanna go back and forth, you just go push to the right for normal automatic, push to the left for sport automatic. So I'm gonna leave it in sport automatic mode. Go here and see, I'm not touching it, but it's shifting. We're in the sport automatic mode. So this is your sporty automatic setting. Go back for regular drive. And what it is, is it, even though you're still in sport mode, it'll shift a little bit more conservatively uh, and be less aggressive. We go into comfort mode. This is gonna be your more, most comfortable and just kind of daily driving use, uh, especially if you have rough roads, uh, driving conditions. And then if you want to save as much gas, you're in the city, lots of stop and go, Eco Pro is the way to go. We're gonna go back up to sport mode. Now next, I'm gonna show you guys how to operate the manual transmission. Now we are, we're still in drive. We're gonna go into sport, manual sport. So right now it's sport automatic, but it's still in automatic mode. To engage manual transmission uh, per se, uh, to manually select the gears, you can either pull it forward or, or back towards you, or you can push it forward. So on the dash right now, I'm in fifth gear. I push it down, now I'm in fourth gear. Push the gas a little bit, shift up to fifth gear. Again, there's sixth gear. Now how do I get back into drive? Well, I can simply do that. And now I'm back in regular drive. Now, if I want to, so now manual mode, fourth gear. Now I'm in fifth gear, but let's say I want to be an automatic, but the sport version. Right, left. Now you're back in sport automatic mode. So it's kind of like a joystick operation here. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. I'm in sport automatic right now. Shift up, now I'm in manual mode. You know, there's set six, five, four, fourth gear right there, going around, shift up, there's fifth, and there's sixth right there, and then back to normal automatic mode. And you can do all of the transmission, all these functions, uh, it doesn't matter what mode you are in here. So if you're in comfort mode, uh, we'll go down the comfort mode real quick. I'll go over sport transmission, you can still do that. And then I can go into manual mode and do that just the same. And if I want to go to Eco Pro, I'm still in manual mode. I can do drive. I can do uh, drive sport or the sport automatic in Eco Pro. It'll tell me to go back over the drive for the best economy purposes, but you can still have it if you want that economy with the aggressive shifts, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, at the end of the day, there's normal drive. That's how you get the sport. 
you push it uh, forward or backwards to get into manual mode and then get back to drive uh, you just push it back over and then for reverse uh, when you're stopped you just push the unlock button and then you push it all the way forward and that's how you get into reverse this video should answer many of the questions you guys have had about the previous BMW Steptronic transmission video uh, I hope this helps you guys if you have any further questions let me know down in the comments so I can help you guys out if you found this video helpful uh, go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more cool videos from me go ahead and subscribe until next got the neck till had a brain for it there until next time uh, you guys take care